Welcome to Phone Redilling Engineering. To drill a very deep borehole, we need a very long drill string. And at the lower end, we have a drill bit which is rotated on the bottom of the borehole, just like this one. In most cases, the energy is provided by a so-called top drive, which sits in the upper end of the drill string in the derrick. This means that the rotational energy is transferred from the top drive to the drill bit along the length of the string. Of course, you can imagine, this results in a lot of losses, especially due to friction. But luckily, engineers have invented a drive system, which is placed in the drill string directly above the bit. Such a downhole motor works in a way that the drilling mod, which is pumped through the motor, sets an internal rotor in motion. As the drill bit on the lower end is attached to this internal rotor, it rotates faster than the rest of the drill string. So while we rotate the drill string, the drill bit even rotates faster, which, re which results in a faster penetration rate. This is good, and we can do so much more with the downhole motor. Some clever engineers had the idea to implement a tilted housing to the motor. Here on my model, I can also adjust the tilt angle a little. It's now a little bent. I hope you can see that the motor is no longer straight but has a slight deflection. A downhole motor with a bend is called a directional downhole motor. With a directional motor, we can drill curves. I will show you how. Let's see what happens if you are drilling in the rotary mode and the drill string is being rotated. Here, the assembly will drill straight ahead as the tilt on the motor is rotating with the string. But if we stop the string rotation and just pump drilling mode through the motor, the bend on the motor will constantly point in the same direction. As the drill bit still rotates, the assembly will continue drilling in the direction of the bend, thus creating a curved borehole section. So in rotary mode, with drill string rotation, we drill straight ahead, while in oriented mode, without string rotation, we drill a curve. Now people often ask, how is it possible to drill these curves? Isn't the drill string made of steel pipes that are too stiff to follow the bit through a curve? Yes, it's possible. The bend on the real directional motor is just a few degrees. You have to look very closely to see it. But this small deflection is enough to drill curves that are comparable with railway curves, just as you see on this picture. Typical curves of deep boreholes have about the same radii as railway curves. The drill string can easily follow the drill bit through such a curve. Well, with the directional downhole motor, we can now drill any profile. By changing the drilling mode from rotary to oriented drilling and vice versa. We can combine curved and straight borehole sections just like we do with rails of a wooden toy train, where we also combine straight pieces and curves to generate any railroad line we want. Indeed, there is so much to learn about directional drilling. And if you're really interested, then come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1, here in Freiburg. We really look forward to see you. Look off.